Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and we are back on Forza Horizon 4 with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Easter Eggs, Glitches, and Funny Moments that you, the subscribers, have found in the game. Now, before I continue, I just want to quickly thank each and every one of you for helping me reach a huge milestone of 300,000 subscribers on this channel. Without you, none of this will be possible, and I'm extremely grateful every day to have the best subscribers ever. I really can't thank you guys enough. So, for those who are new, this is a series where you send me interesting things you have found in the game and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will possibly get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things you have found, make sure to either write them down in the comment section down below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing them or recording it in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be used in an episode. All of the links will be down in the description below and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the next video. So let's take a look at seven secrets, Easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you have found in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number one, a funny moment. Now, in today's episode, we will feature quite a few funny moments as you guys have been bombarding me with all your clips to the point that it may just have to become a series on its own, but for now, it will stay right here. Alright, so we can see that uh, this player is in a game of Infected, and I believe he is one of the finalists to actually get Infected, and uh, let's see. <laughs> That's a pretty dog move. Oh, <laughs> what? Dude, you've won. You've won the game. If that wasn't choreographed, because it was the other uninfected player that dropped you into that container, then you two should be one cohesive unit in any game you play in Forza Horizon 4. Anyways, a huge shout out to TJ Tomahawk X1632 from Xbox for sharing this brilliant clip with us. Thank you. Number two, no mirror reflections. So, in the past, we have covered that changing the point of view of your car camera can result in the actual car model being slightly different. This is because the level of detail, or LOD in short, only renders what the game engine thinks it's necessary in order for the game to be optimized. However, this has led to certain bugs and glitches we have experienced, for example, the Hoonigan Mustang, where if you go onto hood cam, the backfire coming out from the exhaust becomes absent, to even side mirrors going completely missing in cockpit view while being present in chase cam. However, we have found another minor bug, this time featuring the Ford Transit. As you can see in cockpit view, the side mirrors are fully functional with complete reflections. However, if you go onto hood cam and move your right thumbstick around, you can see that the mirrors are completely blacked out, essentially showing nothing. Now, I get it. In hood cam, those mirrors probably aren't going to be of any use. However, it would still be nice to see those mirrors reflecting as it just gives the game an unfinished vibe. Sometimes the smallest things makes the biggest difference. A huge shout out to Lord Creeper199 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number three, different wheels. Now, one of the biggest requests that the community wants to see in this game is the ability to change wheels in pairs. What I mean by this is, like the Need for Speed series, to change rims either just at the front or rear, often seen in drag cars or drift cars in real life. So in this clip, we can kind of see that in a glitchy way. At the moment, all wheels are the same, of course. However, once he begins accelerating, you will notice that the rear wheel's motion texture is vastly different to the wheels at the front, to the point where you would think that he has different wheels equipped. And no, this isn't an optical illusion. Now, the Forza engine has always had this weird wheel modeling where once a car reaches a certain speed, you can actually see the wheel texture change. Either way, this glitch is quite unique, but I would like to see this as an actual feature in terms of changing car rims in pairs. Anyways, a huge shout out to Shadowcat7053 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number four, I really need help. 
Here's a funny moment slash glitch, and this is not specific to Fortune Island, as I will display later, but as you can see, this player is free roaming, and of course, you'll be able to see where the other online players are across the entire map. But as he drives further along, you will notice that one of the online driver's tag gets bigger and bigger to the point where once you finally notice how big it's gotten, it's surprisingly quite funny. And it also doesn't help that the guy's gamer tag is really need help because you really do, mate. And here is another clip where the online tags have glitched and stayed stationary. Not something you can deliberately replicate, but a huge shout out to Notorious Hushy and Nevermore XC, both from Xbox, for sharing these clips with us. Thank you. Number five, give me the right car. Now, I have experienced this glitch myself, as I'm sure many of you probably have at least once. So, here's a clip showing just how silly the game can get. As you can see, this player is clearly in a Formula Drift Nissan S14. However, when he goes to the start menu, on the top left, you can immediately see that the game reckons he's driving a Toyota GT86. Furthermore, when he goes to My Cars, you can even see that his current car is supposed to be this red Rocket Bunny shaped GT86. But clearly he isn't. Very strange, but a huge shout out to many of you, as yes, I am aware a lot of you have sent similar clips to me, but for this particular one, a huge shout out to Goalish Fly from Xbox for sharing it with all of us. Thank you. Number six, another funny moment. All right, so we have a clip here with this Apollo dribbling this tiny car on top like it's Rocket League. Dude, how are you doing that? Is this even online? If so, <laughs> oh, they're just still. <laughs> Why is he? Doing that? I'm sorry, I can't commentate. Over this. Dude, that has to be the best clip I have seen thus far. Oh my gosh, I don't know if that can be beaten, but a huge shout out to Tim Gator from Xbox for sharing this hilarious moment with us. Thank you. And lastly, number seven, a secret tent. So I'm assuming you clicked this video ultimately wanting to know where this secret tent is. Well, it is actually located right here next to the Northbridge speed trap. But one thing you will notice is that once you fast travel there and drive to this particular location here, where is this hidden tent? Nothing's here. And no, I'm not lying. Now, in order for you to see this secret tent, you must go into create a route mode and just choose any starting location. I chose the Glen Rannoch Hillside Sprint as a starting point, but you can choose whatever and just make your way to the exact location that I showed earlier. And here it is the random secret tent just sitting there on its own. Now you can drive through this, there's no physical barriers or any physics to this tent. You can just drive through it like it's not even there. But it certainly raises some questions as to why it is even there in the first place. Could this have been another Horizon Festival site or was this potentially the original Horizon Festival site and was later relocated? I have no idea, but I'm curious to hear your speculations as to why this tent is even here. Please write them down in the comment section below. And a massive shout out to Beanbag4763 from Instagram for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. So there we have it guys, seven hidden secrets, Easter eggs, glitches, and funny moments that you, the subscribers, have sent in for Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. And remember, if you guys have any clips that you want to send to me, all of the links will be down in the description below. Any social media will do, and I look forward to all of your submissions. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.